Right, so everything has been primed and uh, just with a basic uh, car spray paint that I use to give it a base coat so everything starts on an even keel. Um, this guy has got a Hornet head from stock as well as this one. It adds a little bit more detail and helps to try and recreate the story I want to tell. Um, these two, the one on the left is the original, the one on the right is again just from stock. Um, to, he's laughing to join in with the scene. Uh, this is the sentry box um, from Master Boxer's Checkpoint. Um, it's just been glued so far, it's ready to have its base coat and the bar that comes with it um, to add to the scene. Um, three of the original guys that I have sitting down are from Panzer Riders Dragon. Um, the guy standing up has been used elsewhere, but the other three uh, have just had their heads changed and poses slightly adjusted, so they're eating um, and joking and laughing and fitting with the, with the story I want to try and tell. Um, this is Master Boxer's Checkpoint. I'm using all the figures and the dog, the sentry box, as you can see. Um, the figures are, are ready to uh, be individually painted. Um, this is the one of the guys with the machine gun and the officer who's checking for papers. Okay, so here's Mini Arch Russian Street. Um, we'll take a look inside the box. Um, as usual, to start with, is Mini Arch's instructions. Um, that explains and details where everything goes, how it all comes together, and have the usual fun of cutting out all the plastic pieces. Um, here's the base that everything will sit on, uh, with the two tram lines where they would be, and also the place where the building will sit. Um, we'll have a look at that later on. And then the building itself, uh, where all the holes where the windows will go, quite nicely detailed, and how that when that's all finished and put together, uh, cutting all that out. Um, it also comes with a couple of these sprues, identical sprues, which have benches to go in the street. We can use those, and also some fencing, um, and also the tram poles that would run alongside the the rails. Um, they'll be included as well, and then Mini Art's usual uh, sprues that come with door frames, window frames, street lights, um, that sort of thing, which can all add detail and enhance the build itself. Okay, so here's what the um, eventual figures are going to look like. I've given them a rough paint, uh, base coat, to see the sort of colours I'm thinking of using. Um, obviously, all the detail and the extra uniform uh, shading and highlighting has to be done but it's just going to be a rough idea. So onto the base itself. Um, the sentry box and the gate are as in place as you can see this is where they'll be. Um, the gate would normally have the smaller piece um, to latch onto on the ends but because that would mean that would be in the middle of the road and it wouldn't make sense um, I won't be using the smaller piece and I'll need to have the gate up um, to allow for the room. Uh, the building as you can see will be running along here, um, the walls of the building. Um, next to the building there's a little pavement and then behind the sentry box there's a bit of green patch of grass. Normally the fence is supposed to run along here but instead I'll probably have it at a right angle uh, so as not to fence off the pavement. Um, so to give you a rough idea where all the figures are going to be placed, um, the officer will be here checking the papers underneath the gate with um, the civilian just about to get his papers out from uh, from Master Boxer's checkpoint. Uh, the sentries will be in close proximity, uh, one here and the other one over here. Um, the majority of the refugees, five, six, seven, eight of them, will be over there. Um, so we'll just place her there just to represent them. And then alongside the side of the the building will be the half a dozen or so German soldiers looking on. Um, watching what's going on and that's roughly how it's going to look. <laughs> 